Recently I've been playing around with Microsoft's Copilot app on the iPad uh, for creating images and it is excellent and completely free. I've been using it to create desktop wallpapers and also some of the thumbnails for my videos. And here are the, some of the things I've created. And I've got no artistic talent. You just loosely put in what you want. And uh, I think it does a great job. It is uh, really interesting. I particularly like this one. It's my current desktop wallpaper. But you've also got different styles, pixel art. Uh, I can't remember what, what, what prompt I put in for this. Something about a, a small city in a lake or something. Again, pixel art just creates this sort of image. I'll show you how to do it in a second. Uh, as I say, no artistic skill is needed at all. This was something like uh, the Android logo in the desert. Well, this is it as my desktop wallpaper. Uh, and this is one I've recently used for a video. So I wanted a 1990s computer in a tidy office. And this is what it gave me. It's a crazy looking keyboard, but I like the style of it. I like the colors and everything. Uh, and uh, it's certainly something that I couldn't create on my own. So let's go back to the app and show you what you have to do. So in this search box, just type create an image and you could say a cat in sunglasses on a skateboard and then just hit return and you can see that it starts to create the image. I'll leave this bit in real time just to show you how quick it actually does it and there is something uh, called Sora which will do this sort of thing with video but they haven't released it to the public yet so I don't know how long it takes but some of those videos are incredible. But for stills images, uh, as I say, this is completely free. Ah, here you go. So uh, you would pick the image that you like. So say, for instance, I really like the second image. Uh, so if I click on that. So now we have this image. Uh, if I want pixel art, I can tap on pixel art. And it will recreate the image almost instantly. Again, I'll leave this in real time. So I've got a really cool looking image from, from nothing really that I can obviously use for thumbnails, wallpaper or whatever. So now you've seen how long it takes, I'll cut out the process so we'll instantly go through all the different designs. Let's go for watercolor, very nice. Block print, I haven't used this one yet, that's cool. Steampunk, this one's often quite nice. Well that looks really nice. We've got planes in the background. It, it's amazing what random things it comes up with and it really does some random things with text as well. Claymation, yeah, that looks really nice. Again, it just, it looks really nicely stylized. Really, you know, all the shadows and everything look really cool. Uh, occasionally you get some errors and I'll see if I can get some errors because I think some of the AI errors are really funny. Let's try Art Deco, nice. Low poly, yeah, I like that as well. So origami. This is a weird one. Oh, okay, well that doesn't, it's got some little paper bits around it, but it looks like pretty much the same image. I, I've had some really interesting results from origami before. Right, let's try some other things. Oh, I also wanted to show, so on the iPad app, have a look in the bottom right hand corner of this image. You see there's a, a little expander and you can create a landscape image. So if I tap on that and then tap landscape, it will create a landscape image, which is particularly good for a desktop wallpaper. And it just fills it in. Right, let's try some things with some people in it uh, because sometimes it gets people in hands a bit strange. So we quit out of that. And there is a bit of a funny bit on the iPad app. I can't work out how to quit out of this. Uh, so this image, and if I tap on the ask me anything, it doesn't do anything. So what I tend to do is just force close the app. People on a beach in Hawaii covered in snow and you've always got to remember the start bit which is create an image create an image because if you don't do that it often like creates a story or a scenario or kind of works things out for you okay so it's gone for some really different images here well there is snow on the beach i think it's a bit one top right's a bit weird uh let's go with the top left one and let's do that in landscape so we can see it full screen. Well, it's good. that's pretty much done what it wanted to, but let's zoom in and see if we can get some weird anomalies in it. At the top here, if I tap on the dots, I've got a download option, and then you can just press and hold, and we can save that to photos. 
but I can also zoom into this image. So all the people on here, that. Is there anything weird? Something weird going on here. There's sort of people molded into each other. This guy's got one arm, which obviously could be a real thing. This guy sat really weird and his head's odd. The trees look cool though. Quite a lot of people have got tents, which would be wise with the snow. Don't know what's going on in there. Or maybe there's a dog, but I don't know what, what that object is. It's weird, it's when you look into the image and you find the sort of odd things that it's done. Uh, I like the way it's created um, the sort of shape, the distance is blurry and also with the snow. And there's people in the water here, it looks like there's a surfer there as well. But yeah, it's it, it, amazing. So let's go back and try something else. Obviously I can stylize this with any of the uh, other ones. Well, let's try, actually let's try steampunk. I like the way it keeps this in landscape. Once you've selected landscape, it keeps creating the image in landscape. But I couldn't find that on the desktop browser. And I, I don't think you can custom, oh <laughs> wow. That is a very cool image. So let's download that. And if we zoom in, look at the detail, the sort of ice and the snow. This guy looks happy behind that. And obviously people have got, well, steampunk hats on, I guess. Yeah, that image just looks amazing. So detailed. If I say the River Thames with 100 foot waves and let's go with surfers as we just had some surfers. So create an image. Okay. I quite like this one on the bottom right because it's got that sort of image of it going down the Thames. We've got the surfer dude here on the top left. We've got one with uh, Big Ben in it, which is quite cool. And I wonder if people use this for news stories now, because you do see this sort of image, like when talk, people talk about floods or something like that, they'll show you this ridiculous image. Let's see what landscape does. Yeah, see, just, just such a, an amazing image. And these guys are obviously making use of the waves that are there. You have to download it to, uh, to be able to zoom into it. There's a lot of surfers. Maybe I should have said a surfer. But, yeah, really clever. What's this? I don't even know what that is. Oh, is it some, is it bird? There are birds there as well. And this sort of bird looks a bit out of place in London. And whatever this is, like a submarine. So create an image of Taylor Swift performing at Woodstock in 1969. Not sure what it does with celebrities. Oh. Oh, actually, of course, there's been controversy about Taylor Swift. Okay, so um, let's go really random. Create an image of a robot performing at Woodstock sponsored by Tesla. Okay. <laughs> right. So you can see... Well, it's a Tesla robot, top right, because I quite like the guitar pose with the robot. It puts in extra letters. You see, I put Tesla, but it puts T-E-S-S-T-L and another letter. Uh, and if I, so let's go landscape so we can see more of the crowd. <laughs> well, I think it's done the brief pretty well, to be fair. It says Woods Rock at the top, uh, but it's got Tesla this time. And uh, all the people in the crowd look like a photo. And let's zoom in a bit and see. They all look pretty impressed, although the robot has got his back to them, but I guess they're hams. Now, I was going to put it in the 60s, because this guy's fans. <laughs> but how does it create it so quick and look so decent? So if I go back, let's just do pixel art on that one. I quite like that as well. Looks like a video game. Yeah, that's cool. Just completely random. Let's just see what it does with that. I like, I, in some ways, I like being more vague and seeing what it works out on its own. Yeah, okay. Mm, it's kind of just picked photos. Let's go landscape. Well, they look like real photos. 
Let's have a closer look. Something really weird going on with that white car, look. And there's some with bikes in here. Some odd looking buildings. See, what was it thinking there? But, you know, why is it done as a photo collage? <laughs> the weird pose. Whoa, that's freaky. And look at the odd perspective, the way that the chairs are and the way that they're sat is really odd. But this image is really quite high res. Is there any, any writing? No, they tend to kind of get rid of writing. It's not Barnstable. Okay, let's try this. Create an image of 10 people wearing 80s tracksuits in Times Square. Okay. <laughs> 10 people is in a few of them. I think this one on the left has got quite a good pose on it. On the right, this is loads and loads of people looking very serious. And it looks like there's some weird things going on with faces. Oh, and it's done it very different there, but similar faces. See, all the billboards and things aren't, aren't real things. I like that all the tracksuits look, look like 80s tracksuits. And if we zoom in to some of the, some weird things going on with ZZ Top Beard here, and this guy's face, and this guy's eyes and lips, look. What's going on with the hands and things? See if there's anything. Lots of them got their hands in their pockets. <laughs> That's a good look. It's almost like a lion. And this guy's got a really weird looking face as well. We've got some what look like names, some posters on the top. But again, just, just really impressive, so random. And can we go back? Sometimes you can go back, yeah, and see some of these other images. This one I'd quite like the look of. This guy's face, <laughs> these two guys' face look really squashed up. Nice lips, but... You know, when you look at how much of the image is right, you know, you can look for these small things um, that are crazy. But when you look at how much of the image it's got right, and obviously this is early days of AI, it is incredible. Okay, create an image of David Bowie singing to birds in Carnaby Street. We'll see if it does David Bowie as a celebrity or if it just blocks Taylor Swift. Okay. Okay, create an image of a 70s rock star singing to birds in Carnaby Street. So let's go with this one. <laughs> yeah, that works. And the detail on the clothes and everything as well, and the people in the background, they all seem to be in sort of 70s style maybe. Yeah, I like what it's done there. And we've got something in the background, some signs. Yeah, I like what it's done there. That does look cool. Look at the detail, he's changed his outfit, putting it in landscape, but look at the detail of that outfit and the, all the necklaces and everything he's got. The reflection in the glasses, the bird standing on top of the back of the bird, one on his head, one on his hand as well, standing on some sunglasses, is it? I don't know, that's a bit weird. But these guys look proper 70s with the hair and stuff. I like that. Kara Seb and, well, doesn't really say anything. Is there people in there? Maybe. But the flowers, the building details, not quite sure what that's meant to say. Let's try this. I did this the other day and it was quite cool. Create an image of a waitress in a McDonald's in the 1930s. I'm not sure if I put that exact quote, but it was something similar. Oh, okay, and it's gone black and white, which it didn't before. And there's no, oh, so this has got a McDonald's logo. That looks pretty real, doesn't it? It really does look like an old photo. And again, if we landscape it, and it's done it completely different. We haven't got a McDonald's logo anymore. We've got a Muck CFI as a coffee machine with loads of little cups on it. Her hands look pretty normal, yeah. Yeah, still cool. Right, let's go a bit random. Create an image of a 2012 Nissan Leaf with flames on the sides and smoke coming out of the rear. Okay. Oh, this is what the uh, the battery deniers definitely love these images. Uh, so we picked this one. Wasn't quite what I was going for, but it has got the right. So before I did it as a first gen Nissan Leaf, and it gave me a second gen Nissan Leaf. But this has done it, and it has done the right car, and it definitely looks like the right car. Uh, all the proportions and the you know reflections and everything. The headlights are spot on. I could have found my thumbnail. 
<laughs> because definitely electric cars catching fire are, are good for clicks. Even though they don't happen very often at all, they are very good for clicks. What does it say on the side? Okay, they've kind of glossed over the logos. But uh, it does look so cool. Nice alloys. So create an image of a 2012 Nissan Leaf with flames on the paintwork with blue smoke coming out of the rear. And this is GPT-4. Ah, here we go. It will be fun with GPT-4. Responses may be slow while being creative. What do you want to explore today? Okay, it's done something similar. And again, it's come up, well, this one has come up with the newer models. It's only this one uh, that's the correct model. And it's not as accurate as the other one was. But you see, it's now it's done its paintwork and the blue smoke looks more like an effect. Yeah, it looks great in landscape. And we've got other cars in the background and a real sort of photorealistic background as well. Although the car does look just not quite right. The proportions don't look right. But yeah, I do like the image. Okay, so let me know what you create and how you get on with creating photos. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe.